Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and today's video is another episode of our little e-commerce mini series here for the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out the reviews app so you can have e-commerce reviews for your products. Now I know I've already kind of covered this in a previous video, but I do think this topic is important and can be its own video. So we're gonna kind of recover it here in today's video, but let's go ahead and get started. So here we are on our product page here. If you watched the previous video, this is kind of what we designed uh, and I think it looks pretty clean. But what we're gonna want to do is actually add reviews right under this. In order to do that, what we're gonna do is grab the product page widget and on this little menu here, we'll see plugins. So we'll go ahead and click that. And you'll notice two things. There is gonna be Wix reviews writing summary and there's gonna be Wix reviews. Wix reviews is what we're gonna to want to add. And then the ratings summary would just be an addition. So for now, let's go ahead and press add Wix reviews. And when we add that, you can see it basically added an addition to the product page widget. And it's just gonna be right here. Now inside of this, we're gonna see some fake reviews here. Uh, and verified basically means that this person has bought this product from your website before. So their review is verified or from a verified buyer, which is nice to have. But anyone can leave a review and you kind of get the average rating, how many five-star reviews, four-star, three-star that you have. And then down below is the actual reviews. Now, when we click on this reviews widget and go into settings, we kind of get, we'll get this little box to pop up. Inside of this, we can turn off the heading if we want to. We can also go ahead and turn off the ratings breakdown. So we can just have it look like this. So it just shows the average with the amount of reviews and the leave review button if we want it. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this on. I do think it looks pretty clean, personally. Underneath that, we can allow people to sort. We can show the sorting, and we can also set the default sorting. Typically, on most e-commerce websites, uh, you'll typically see the highest rated first. I will say it would be kind of cool if we had one for verified first. I do think that would be kind of cool. So maybe that could be a feature that someone can request. And then underneath that, we can turn the publish date on and off if we don't want it to show here. But I do think it's typically pretty good to show the publish date. And then the review list on each page, we have it set to five per page. So if the user wants to see more reviews, they can select the next or previous page. However, this is not the only design for the reviews app that we have. So if we come over to layout, you can see right now we are set on the list option. However, we can do large card, which is similar to the list one. However, it gives each review a little bit more spacing and a nice little border. And then we also have small cards, which this one's actually my favorite one. I think this one looks pretty clean. And we can adjust the spacing in between the reviews the side padding and top and bottom padding. Under design, we can of course change the header and all of the colors and review button. And of course, if you've been following along on this series, we've been doing rounded buttons because they just look a little bit nicer. You can see up here, we actually don't have rounded buttons. I take that back. Uh, so we're gonna do something around 12, um, just so it's slightly rounded, but not completely round. So we want to kind of match the rest of our website. So if we have slightly rounded, we're gonna to want to do that down here as well. Um, we can even set the background of this to be our color and we can change the font like this, just so it kind of matches the font up here um, if you want to. In this instance, I wouldn't mind having it be the original way where the font is this color and the fill is white. I still think that looks pretty clean as well, but for now, we'll just go ahead and leave it. Under display, we can also change the amount of ratings that we want. So maybe we want like eight reviews to show. I think that looks pretty clean, just like that. And I, I want to clarify that obviously these are dummy reviews. So once you publish the website, these are not going to appear. Um, these are just fake reviews. But let's go ahead and select the product page widget. We'll go back over to plugins and let's go ahead and add the Wix reviews rating summary. 
what that's going to do is it's going to add a little element here that shows the reviews. So we can go ahead and add that really quickly. So if we go ahead and preview the website, you will basically see the review here and we can scroll down to actually read the reviews. I think this looks really, really clean. And then of course, below that from the previous video, we created a related products little section here. But overall, I think this is really cool. Now, one thing I do wanna note about this reviews app here that I do think you guys should know about is anyone can leave a review. In fact, if I go ahead and publish the website and I go to the live site and I pull up this product page, you can see I'm not even signed in, but I can still leave a review. So you might wanna be careful of either bot reviews or maybe some, I guess, scummier people going to your website and talking bad about your product and potentially trying to promote their own. Uh, you need to be careful on stuff like that. However, Wix does give you tools uh, to be able to prevent that or at least kind of manage them. So what I wanna do is select the reviews widget and press manage reviews. And this is gonna open up the dashboard. Now, right here, it lands you on the published page. So all the active or live reviews that you have on your website will be right here. There's also pending reviews and there's also rejected reviews. So you have like three ways to view, like if you reject a review, it'll show up in rejected. And if something is pending and you need to approve it, uh, it'll show up in pending. Now, how do you set that up? Uh, we can go into the settings in the top right. And for the review form, we can go ahead and edit this. So we can kind of edit the title. So we can give them a title body. They can upload media if you want them to. So image and videos. We can even set a maximum number of files. And then the button, we can change the text for as well. But to set the moderation for pending and rejected reviews, we want to go into moderation. For images and videos, we want to moderate that. For ratings, we want to moderate reviews with chosen stars. So we can turn this on and we kind of maybe want to turn on like these lower ones right here to kind of send those into pending just to make sure they're not bot ones or just scummy people. And last but not least, we can even enable word filter. So we can put in a bunch of spam words or even curse words if you want. Just make sure to have a very clean website. You can, of course, turn that on as well. So Wix does give you moderation tools just to make sure everything is clean in hopes that you don't have bot reviews or just inappropriate reviews. Uh, so that is nice that, that is included. Underneath moderation, we have email notifications. Uh, this allows you to send your customer a, re a request for a review after 14 days from after they like place the order. Personally, I think this is a really cool addition to the reviews app. Of course, anytime I buy something, especially online, even if I like it, I hardly ever go leave a like good review for it because I never remember to. So it's really nice that Wix allows us to send an email to our customer asking for a review and they even delay it by 14 days. So hopefully we have the time to ship it and they receive it and have a chance to use the physical item um, before they can actually give their honest review on it. I think that's a fantastic addition. Underneath email notification is reply as. So if you are running an online store, you get a review and you want to reply to that review, typically you will see a name. So you can do something like Ryan and then maybe customer service. I don't know, something like that. Or you can do something like Ryan company name, or you can even do like company name support, something like that. Either way, I think it looks really clean, but I like that you have the option to kind of change the name um, that appears when you reply to a review. And then you can also enable helpful reviews. So allow site visitors to kind of give views a thumbs up if they found that review helpful. And that's another way that people can sort through reviews. They can see if 
reviews are helpful or not. So I think that's really good and you should probably leave this one enabled uh, just in case. But that's all you really need to know about the reviews app and the e-commerce system here in Wix. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again and I'll see you on the next one.